what this is, it's a, a test screening of a rough cut of the film. And it's the first time that um, viewers will get a chance to see the completed film. Uh, not the final cut, but the completed film. So we're here to just gauge, you know, um, audience reactions and things like that. And, and that's going to help us when it comes time to, um, you know, putting the final touches to the film and polishing it and, and getting it done by around uh, sometime in November. The experience has been incredible. Absolutely amazing. And it's something that we have gone through for the past three years, about three, two and a half, three years, um, from the time of inception when he started a genealogy trip. What is it about my family? And then suddenly here we are. It's, it's gotten much bigger. It's a great story. It's something that needs to be told. I believe the, that this uh, particular um, recording and, uh, and documentary is a very valuable um, exercise for helping people to get a sense of place and their, their past. And the Maroons are a people that have struggled so hard. Their lives were placed you know, on the line for us today. And I'm so happy that today we can be coming here to, to really uh, participate in looking at uh, this documentary. I want to co really commend the producers, uh, those who are really responsible for getting all of this together and for today's uh, performance that we are going to be seeing by way of the documentary. Um, all of the persons who have come together to make this possible, I extend my heartiest congratulations. So the, the people and the government of Jamaica are truly appreciative of the work they're doing. And here in Toronto, uh, we know that many of our nationals are really coming to view this with lots of anticipation. Many who were born here in Toronto but don't have a, uh, sufficient knowledge about their roots. I think this is going to be a very valuable experience for them. So we all look forward to this with great anticipation. I don't know very much about the Maroons in Jamaica, although I am half Jamaican and I lived in Jamaica when I was little. I'm really looking forward to learning more about the Maroons there. I know a little bit about, you know, the history of the Maroons in Jamaica. So when Roy emailed to say he was working on this, I thought, oh, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, I know Roy as a stuntman and coordinator um, in the industry, and he actually worked with us on love songs. I'm always excited about progress, you know, the progress of the black people in the industry, how they go, that they stay in it, that they keep working. And in this case, I think it's very exciting that now he has his first documentary that he's directing himself and about such a personal subject to him. I can just imagine more than 300 years ago, the great Captain Kojo, under this tree, reasoning with his people. I see why this is a sacred spot for all Maroons, and why they celebrate the signing of the Blood Treaty here. So this is for Kojo, Nani, Nina, Kwaku, Kofi, Johnny. All the great war road leaders who came with the Spanish, such as them. I thought it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it a lot. I realize I know next to nothing about Jamaica. <laughs> and it's kind of embarrassing because, I mean, I spent half my childhood there. and But at the same time, this is history you hear nothing about, you know? So I feel like this was like a university course on my history, Jamaican people, you know, like I had no idea about this stuff, that they were independent for so long, the kind of struggles that they had and how they triumphed over, so loud, sorry, how they triumphed over the British like that. That's absolutely amazing. It was a very important uh, movie for me to see. I think that... We all need to learn more about our connections with our own home and also our home's connections with Africa. So thanks for making this, this movie. It will make a big impact. It was wonderful to, um, to from, from the perspective of uh, a history lesson. And it was great 
um, to, to, to look back and see really where I'm coming from. So um, it was an eye-opening experience for me and I loved it. The parts of the film that I enjoyed the most was the personal journey of uh, brother OG, brother Roy T. Anderson. And the Aquanta journey is a very powerful piece when you can trace your historical roots in Jamdong. It was good. Very good. I loved it. Uh, this was quite a moving um, and inspirational film. I, uh, I was not aware of, uh, of the, the plight of, of the uh, Maroons. And, and, and this is really an eye-opener. And, and more people should see this. This is a fantastic film. The film was wonderful, much needed. The history, we never knew it before. We knew parts of it, we didn't know all of it. And well needed, just well presented, and a story by us for us, you know, just wonderful. This is a magnificent work by Roy Anderson. And uh, I'm really, really proud that um, I know this brother and I've known him for so many years because this is a story that has needed to be told and I am really surprised has not yet been told so uh, I'm really happy that he has gone on a personal journey back to Maroon Town and uh, have shown so many of us have this feeling that we are descended from the proud independent Maroons of Jamaica whose spirit uh, has uh, been transferred to the nation at large their spirit is indomitable and I am um, really just sitting here looking at this film thinking, wow, you know, this is a history that I really am not uh, fully aware of. I have never been, um, it, it, we weren't taught all of this history in school. We knew about Nanny and we know about Kujo, but uh, this is something that will uh, um, instruct many generations of Jamaican youth. And I am very happy that Roy has told the story. Congratulations. Oh